and welcome to GKN's Global Technology Centre here in Filton. My name is Megan Williams, I'm a research engineer here and I'm going to take you on a tour inside. GKN stands for Guest Keen and Nettlefold and it's been around since 1759. We've come quite a long way though from the original things that we were engineering to the vertical takeoff and then even the sustainable flight that we're trying to achieve. When I was younger, I used to love playing with Barbies and so much so that I used to make sure that she came with me on every single holiday. And so that is how my interest went from this to this. If you're lucky enough to have ever been on an aeroplane, you might have noticed that as you fly, that the wings move. So I didn't know why that happened and I wanted to find out more. When I was in school, I was fairly good at maths. I liked science and I loved design. So when it came to GCSEs, I did history, geography, electronics and separate science. I had to take IT, but actually, as it happens, that worked out quite well in the end. <laughs> Once I've worked out where it is that I want to go, the way that I like to work is backwards. So where am I now? Where do I want to be? And what steps do I need to take to get there the quickest? I applied for scholarships such as Arkwright and I actually changed sixth form. I was the only one there from my school, but I don't regret it and I made friends for life. So I actually did three A-levels and three A-Ss. So full A-level was physics, psychology and maths. And my A-S level, I did extended project, critical thinking and design. So I did extended project because I wanted to explain why I took psychology. I just loved psychology, but at the time I didn't realize actually how intrinsically linked to engineering it is. So I decided to do my extended project on the fear of flying, why people were afraid of flying and actually if it made sense to be afraid of it or not. So I studied at the University of the West of England. I did aerospace manufacturing. I did that as a bachelor's and then I did engineering business management as my master's. Both times for my dissertation, I looked into industry four and basically the new way that we make factories now. And it wasn't until actually my, my third year, my final year, that I realized how much psychology is involved in engineering and especially in machine learning and all things digital. So I'm really grateful now that I did that as an A-level because it gives me an edge in understanding how people work, you can better design how computers work. When I started my degree, I thought I wanted to be an aerodynamicist. That love of wings, I thought, ah, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to design them and work out, you know, how they work and create it. But it wasn't until I started spending time in the workshop that I realized that what I really enjoy is building things and taking things from a design on a piece of paper and making it into the real world and bringing it into life. So here at the GTC, we look at all brand new technologies, but our sister sites actually build pieces for airplanes. So GKN, they supply the names that you all have heard of, people like Airbus, when they design their aircraft, what we do is we build the structural components within that aircraft, so the spars and the ribs, for instance. And then it's my job to take all of that data and try and use it as best I can to predict the future. I mean, I say predict the future. I can't tell you what lottery numbers will come up, but what I can tell you is why your machine is likely to break down and when it's going to happen and what you can do to make sure that that downtime is as minimized as possible. But GKN's actually been part of my life for the past 10 years. When I was 17, I did a month long placement at Western Approach and I got to see how we work with carbon composites. And then when I was in my master's year, I did my dissertation over in Filton and having that understanding of how operations work on different sites has really helped me in my role here. Engineering is always about evolution and whether that's personal or for a business. For the GTC, that's how we work towards sustainable flight. And for me, that's how I've gone from setting out as a manufacturing engineer to now working with an AI. It's really quite broad actually, and there's definitely a home for everyone within aerospace. When I left university, I started working for a company called Belcan, working on buses and trying to ensure that they were more environmentally friendly. I joined Explio in March 2020, right before COVID hit. I was a project manager working on marine defence projects and I learned an awful lot. I had a team of 30 men that I was managing and a multi-million pound contract at 23 years old. It certainly taught me a lot. 
I moved to Leonardo because I wanted to be involved in operations. With a degree in manufacturing, I really missed the shop floor. It gave me the chance to do rotations in manufacturing engineering, quality, lean improvement. I even spent some time in campaigns so I understood how the decisions that were made on the front end of the business affect what happens on the build line, which was really interesting to me. A real career highlight was working with the adults at the Hub in Yeovil. The Hub is a centre for adults with additional needs and we were able to teach them life skills through engineering practices. But actually, if you take a minute and look around, you'll notice that engineering is really everywhere. It's all around you and that's what I love so much about engineering. Away from engineering, I also have a love for rowing. I started in my fourth year at university, so I was quite late to the sport, but it's taught me an awful lot about teamwork, endurance, discipline, and showing up on time, but also the importance of having fun, even when it is painful and you are tired, but the joy that it brings is just second to none. That's me at the back, by the way, in case you were wondering. <laughs> So what advice would I give to you? It's a piece of advice that I live by and sometimes it can sound a bit brutal, but it's not meant that way. And it's sometimes if you want something badly enough, you have to go out and make it for yourself. You know, you can ask the question and the worst thing somebody is gonna to say to you is no. And that's okay because then you have an answer to the question. You just need to figure out a different way of doing it. You can still make it. One of the great things about working for the GTC is the flexibility to work from home. It means that I get to set my space up exactly how I want it so I can work at the best of my ability in a space that's nice and comfortable. And it also means that if you get all of your hours in on time, then you get to have a half day on Friday and who doesn't want an extra long weekend? It's great. <laughs> What I love about the GTC is how diverse the workforce is. Not only do we have lots of different age groups, but we also have lots of different cultures too. It makes it really interesting when we're all trying to tackle a problem, but we all have different perspectives. And it also breathes lots of new life into the business too. It's a fun environment to be in and it pushes you to be the best engineer that you can on the most interesting projects every day. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope you've enjoyed the trip through my academia to where I am now. I wish you the best of luck in whatever it is that you decide to do and I shall let you get on. I imagine you've got lots to study for and, and lots to prep for but in the meantime all the best and I hope to see you soon.